Hey guys, you may know me as Jim Cantiello, but today, I'm Ricky Rackman, former host of Headbangers Ball, right here on MTV. Now, why channel my inner Ricky, you ask? Simple, because all that hair metal stuff your parents used to go see at places like the Meadowlands, Twisted Sister, Poison, has finally ended up exactly where we knew it would, in a tiny theater off Broadway. But Rock of Ages isn't your typical cheesy off-Broadway musical. Taking on the world. It's your typical cheesy off-Broadway musical on steroids. I gotta take a little time. <laughs> it's a love story, in fact, told through the eloquent lyrics of hair metal. What we've done is we've taken those 80s bands and we've theatricalized them. Uh, and put them into a musical with a really big plot. It's like the Kilroy tour, Styx, 1980. Exactly like that, but in a theater with actors singing the material. So when the lead character, Drew, and yes, that is Constantine Maroulis from American Idol, finally exclaims what he really wants to do with his life, he turns directly to the audience and sings, I want to rock! Let's set the scene. 1987, Sunset Strip, lots of big dreams, lots of big guitars, big hair really funny characters, and two dreamers move to L.A., try to make it big. And in case the plot gets a little too complicated, which is pretty much impossible, a narrator is there to help the story along, and he takes his job very seriously. A narrator? It's an ancient rock and roll device used back in the day to really just kind of, you know, involve the crowd, because a lot of times the music and the lyrics are so complicated that you really, you need, you need that that layman's voice. If you could hear him sing, this is what I say. Don't be nothing but a good time. So let me get this straight. This is a musical, off-Broadway, featuring songs from the 80s. Sounds kind of cheesy. Why should people come see this? Well, it's kind of like the anti-Broadway musical. I mean, it's like super interactive with the crowd. Um, you know, people are ordering drinks and singing along with the songs. Rock and roll for us is the priority. It's a light show, we got the hazer fog, we have an amazing band. They're the hottest girls in the world in this show. The stripper poles, they're shredding guitars. I get to wail, so you can come and make fun of me. To put it bluntly, this show could be terrible if everyone didn't seem to be so in on the joke. I take it you're in a band in the show? This is true, Arsenal. Just put out an album called I Love Your Cans. The magic happens when, when I put this mullet on and when I go out there and I do my thing. It's a comedy, it's uh. It's a zany comedy, um, to say the least. So while it may not be the Meadowlands, at least bands like Whitesnake are still getting the musical treatment they deserve. Here's my card. My pager number's on there. Hit me up.